Hey guys, today's not a funny video or anything. This is probably going to be one of the more serious videos as of late. So, uh, yeah, today we're talking about what happened at Bungie, uh, what was it, October 30th? Uh, the massive layoffs and all that and everything that has come from that so far. Um, it feels like there's new information every day, so of course I might not be able to catch all of it, but... Uh, I just want to talk about some of the stuff going on, and if you're uninformed, well, here's a video for you going over all of it and some of my thoughts on it. So, starting off, there was no TWAB this week. I think it's the first time a TWAB was canceled since, like, 2014. Usually, we don't have them over the holidays, so, like, Thanksgiving, we don't have one. And then the few around, like, Christmas and New Year's, we don't have one. Like, we just don't. That's how it's always been. But we've, I don't think in the history of Destiny as a franchise, we've ever had TWAB or TWID, whatever you want to call it, canceled altogether. It was this week, and I feel like that's something that might happen more in the future. Because the layoffs did hit the social and community team pretty hard. And they hit off, hit the PvP strike team, which was put into place to help PvP players like the game more. Which is astounding being that the strike team was put together not that long ago and they're like well we gotta ax them whatever it's it's stupid honestly also being that there was no twab they didn't announce the delay to final shape that's probably happening everyone is saying that it is for sure happening Bungie hasn't said anything but Paul Tassie and others that have sources within Bungie have been saying, yeah, it's it's delayed, and people have known for a little bit within the company, but they haven't announced it. Like, the timeline seems like they may have known sometime after the Final Shape reveal happened, like, after it was filmed and before it came out is the timeline, I think. It's around there. Um, but, yeah, it might be releasing in june so that's an extra four months seven month season next season probably and we won't have something the size of 30th anniversary that was a dungeon a whole new like game mode thing we won't have that so i hope there's at least a small update or an artifact refresh i would take an artifact refresh to just change whatever the artifact is Get some new perks, build new fun builds. Hopefully that would help a little bit. But uh now off the less important stuff, let's let's talk about some some layoff stuff and some goofy goofy things, goofy silly things. So there were a lot of important, very important people laid off from Bungie. Um some of this is kind of personal. Well, not really personal, but like, uh, so Liliana or hippie, whatever you want to call her. Uh, however, you know her as a community manager, she was one of the layoffs and, uh, like one of the first things she did after getting the CM job at Bungie is she said, basically she wanted to shout out and support smaller destiny content creators and that meant a lot to me as a uh, not not huge channel. That really did mean a lot because it wasn't it felt like it wasn't just you have to be one of the top dogs to get recognized at Bungie. It, it was it felt nice. And I would have I had some PC issues during Witch Queen. Um, some of it was Destiny 2 being weird. Some of it was my computer. Um but whenever I had problems, the first person who helped me at every step, every single time, was Liliana. Every time. Bungie help, Bungie support, all that stuff would take forever to help if they did it all. Liliana, as soon as I said, hey, I'm having problems, she answered. I, it was so weird, but I'm super thankful for that. So if somehow Liliana you're watching thank you so much for everything you've done not just for me personally but like everybody um 
And uh, yeah, I mean, all the layoffs suck, but that one, that one hurt a lot <laughs> personally. Uh, I do hope for the best for everyone that's laid off. Um, cause yeah, it, it sucks. It sucks from the other side too. Like not having worked at Bungie, just seeing some of the communities, like the most forward facing, uh, members of Bungie staff being let go. And that includes Blue Jay who does some sick, sick stuff in game and out of game. Um, I do want to talk about Victor because uh, I think it was last year he, uh, while at work at Bungie, had suffered a stroke, um, which Bungie's insurance didn't fully cover the recovery of, and it he was one of the people that was laid off and he's still in recovery from his stroke. And that's just fucked up. Cause he'll only have like three, three months of, uh, coverage anyways for his insurance now, which that's awful. That that's really fucked up Bungie. And if I remember right, he was a big part of like a lot of forsaken systems. If I remember right. So yeah. Great job, Bungie. Um, then we have, uh, a lot of the music team. A lot of the art team was also, uh, laid off, but the music team, we got, okay, so basically a lot of the people that were uh, laid off were senior level. So, like, yeah, they get paid more, but, you know, they get paid more because they have all that experience, um, including Michael Salvatore, whose soundtracks, his compositions have basically been a massive influence on the atmosphere of the entire franchise like the universe the ip i don't think it would be it, it would feel a lot more bland i don't know if that's the right word if it wasn't for its soundtracks michael salvatore's compositions make destiny destiny in my opinion because otherwise it's just kind of like okay it's a little fantasy it's a little sci-fi whatever but that music is what makes it take that you know, another step up, and he was let go. Also, the person that made the the Halo logo, who has been working at Bungie forever, was also laid off. It these are just dumb decisions, and and that goes to upper management. Upper management is the issue. They have been the issue the whole time. Um, like the devs at Bungie are great devs upper management is shitty upper management um yeah <laughs> so from what i've heard um apparently pay cuts and not paying out bonuses to upper management was never an option it was something they were never going to do some some executives apparently uh aren't accepting their bonuses this year or parts of their bonuses and supposedly that includes Pete Parsons, the CEO. I don't know if I believe that, but whatever. Um, yeah. So basically, upper management, they, they fucked up. Because they were the ones that put in the uh, policy of don't over-deliver. Because you're creating patterns. You got to under-deliver every time. Um. And that made Lightfall make less money because Lightfall was kind of lackluster. The paid content, at least. The free updates were nice, I'm not going to lie. All the stuff that came for free within Lightfall kind of slapped. Okay, great quality of life there. But all the paid content was kind of mid. I mean, Strand's fine. Rude Nightmare's not a great raid. Cool exotic for it. 
And the Lifefall campaign, kind of bad. So, like, the seasons suffered because of that, because people were like, well, I don't want to uh, play these uh, seasons because they're just boring and bad. Which, Season of the Witch is a really good season, though. I gotta admit, it's pretty good. But it does suffer from being attached to Lifefall and it not using stasis, in my opinion, whatever. Um... So, yeah, um, this policy of under delivering has really backed them into a corner where they have to rely on Eververse for all their money, which is rough. And a lot of old expansions aren't being made free because they're economically viable to keep on the store, Probably because people get confused on what expansion to buy and buy the wrong one, or they get it on a sale or something, which sucks. Um, but yeah, basically, upper management when they were selling to Sony massively over projected their profits for this year, and they are down 45% of what that target was. It probably just wasn't just like oh no, Lightfall performed poorly, that's what happened. It was probably a lot of things, like, a lot of people didn't like Plunder, or Haunted that much. A lot of people like it Haunted, but I wasn't the hugest fan of Haunted. I preferred Plunder, honestly. But, uh, yeah, there was some stinker seasons last year. There was some okay seasons this year so far, other than which is good. And Lightfall didn't perform critically well because of the policy of under delivering and now Bungie is under delivering on profits and Sony company wide at PlayStation wanted to cut some money out so they told the studios do whatever you want we just don't want to bleed as much money and this is also ignoring that Bungie probably knew a decent amount of the games coming out this year, but there were some um, game of the decade, basically, game of the century uh, contenders in there, like Baldur's Gate 3. That happened this year. Spider-Man 2 came out. We had, uh, I think Remnant 2 is an absolute slapper. Starfield was a massive game. Diablo 4, there's a lot of things coming out, whereas last year, around the time that Witch Queen came out, it was Elden Ring, then later on the year, we had God of War, and then that's about it. That That's about all that came out last year, it felt like. So, Lightfall had a lot of competition that, you know, the policy of under-delivering for Lightfall slapped them in the face it never should have happened for lightfall or the final shape it should never happen in general but those were lightfall is one of the dumbest expansions to have that policy in and apparently devs were begging to add more features and things and changes that we the players requested because they wanted player retention up because if you have more player retention you can sell more silver in the shop to make Bungie more money. But upper management said, no, 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 no. It's fine. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like people playing your game more often and seeing the ads to get the things in Eververse makes them more willing to pay money for silver to get those cool things in Eververse. But whatever. So, uh, yeah, I could keep going on how upper management is dog shit at Bungie, but I'm going to move on to comms. What are communications going to look like going forward at Bungie? Probably horrible. At this point, I'm not sure they're going to let Joe Blackburn keep doing the live streams and guest starring on other people's stuff. I'm not sure that's going to happen because they already laid off a bunch of people on their social media team and community management. Two massive things for a live service game so that you can get what you want announced out to the people so they can get excited about future features and things. 
which which includes trailers which they haven't really done for a season in forever but uh yeah i i honestly don't know what it's going to look like in the future i do expect more twabs to be canceled um going forward because we don't have very many community managers anymore like i'm pretty sure back when it was only deej dmg and cosmo we always got a twab but sometimes they were sick when they wrote it and i think they put it in there that they were sick when they wrote it so instead of resting and taking time to you know get healthy again they they worked which isn't great um so yeah i'm i'm scared about communication between bungie and players in the future which has fucked up the game before and it will fuck up the game again i'm sure um if the game isn't already completely fucked but let's talk about film and tv this is something that we were told about i think like february 2021 so two and a half years ago at this point a little over we've heard like a rumbling here and there like looking for an animation director things like that but other than that, we have nothing to show for it. Like, nothing. And that's what I theorized the main reason Sony bought Bungie was for. Other than the help with live service games, because Sony was going in that direction. So, uh... Maybe we'll hear something about that at some point. But who knows, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, also apparently Bungie would have gone under if this poor performance we saw this year of Lightfall happened when they're still independent, not owned by Sony. So good job upper management. But yeah, film and TV, I honestly, I'm starting to feel like it's just not going to happen because it's been Oh, it, these things take time, of course, but I feel like we would have heard more about it at this point, like, unless everything's, like, secret and under wraps, but I'm kind of feeling like it might not happen at all. Who knows? There might be some weird contract stuff, because I know there was the possibility of it going to Paramount, because they had Paramount members on their board of directors at Bungie for a little bit, but I don't think Sony would want that. Sony has deals with Netflix and Amazon and everyone. So that might be tied up in contract hell because of that decision. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Um, the one thing the TWAB did say was that the standard they're putting the final shape against is Forsaken, Witch Queen, and the Taken King. Massive standard. They don't want it to be as good as those. They want it to be better than those. I hope it is, but I don't think that's going to keep players in because at a time where we were only just now this season, the past few weeks, starting to regain trust with Bungie, this happened, and I feel like a lot of people are ready to drop the game at this point. Um, it It's all upper management's fucking decision. Like, honestly... If a skeleton crew came out of Bungie because they were just tired of the upper management, I think they could make a great game, a super successful, great game. But I, with the upper management they have, I don't see Destiny 2 being great again. Like the last time the game was in a really, really good spot was like Season of the Seraph. I think that's it. <laughs> But yeah, um, I don't see any goodwill things happening for Destiny 2 or anything like that in the near future, if ever again. Um, so yeah, that's about the video. I'll probably be exploring more variety content because Destiny 2 is dying and it has been a little bit recently. And I've been exploring variety anyways on my Twitch channel. And I do have a second YouTube channel, which you might check out Um I'll probably have a video talking about variety stuff like next week. 
I may have some community posts and things like that asking you what games you'd like to see me cover. Um, I do want to explore more lore content. So, yeah, I'll I'll talk about that stuff in a video and some community posts over the next week. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Go support everyone that is laid off and everyone still there. Because, yeah, they're, they're going through it right now. So, uh, I hope for the best for everyone. And, uh, yeah, see you next time.